subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Aruba Certified Switching Associate. So let's get started. Question number 1. What is the correct description of a multi-layer switch? Your options are A. A switch with layer 3 routing capabilities but lacks any layer 1 features as a consequence. B. Any switch that supports PO, LLDP met and flow control. C. Is all the functionality of a layer 2 switch and most of the functionality of a layer 3 router. D. Multilayer refers specifically to using chassis switches, with several line cards over stack port switches. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2. What are two features of the three tier designs? Choose two. Your options are. A. Removes the distribution layer in favor of a spine leaf design used in modern data center deployments. B. Adds a distribution layer to free up resources from the core for improved performance and routing throughput. C. A more scalable design over by leveraging a distribution layer to handle layer 3 routing and access control in large deployments. D. Uses only layer 2 access on the access and the core with layer 3 routing and access control provided at the distribution layer. The correct answers are option B and C. Question number 3. What are two OSPF attributes within a hello messages that must match to successfully establish neighbor relationships? Choose two. Your options are A. Router ID B. Priority C. Hello and dead intervals D. Area ID The correct answers are, option C, and D. Question number 4, which two options are the layer 3 routing protocols? Choose two. Your options are A. B. G. P B. L. L. D. P C. O. S. P. F D. M. P. L. S the correct answers are, option A, and C. Question number 5, what are the commands to disable SSH and HTTPS services from the default VRF? Your options are. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 6, what command will save your configuration on an Aruba ALS CX switch, so that your changes automatically load on next reboot? Your options are. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 7. What is the binary conversion of the hexadecimal value 0 by 2001? Your options are. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 8. What command displays information regarding the secondary image installed on an AUS CX switch? Your options are. A. Show secondary. B. Show version detail. C. Show version. D. Show images. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 9. What connectivity commands are available on AUS CX switches? Choose 2. Your options are. A. Net status. B. Trace route. C. Ping. D. Path ping. The correct answers are, option B, and C. Question number 10. Which statement is correct regarding powering an Aruba access point? Your options are A. PO or PO Plus is only used with Ethernet that is carried over multimode fiber cabling. B. Using switch ports for this reason is unnecessary, because Aruba access points typically use an AC to DC power adapter to draw power. C. PO or PO Plus enabled switch ports are rarely used given concerns about causing electrical interference with the data also carried over Ethernet cabling. D. Most administrators use PO or PO Plus enabled switch ports to provide both Ethernet connectivity and power to the AP. The correct answer is, option D. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 